my channel so today I have a beauty bay haul for you guys which is in this little basket that I've absolutely filled so I really hope you guys enjoy this video I'm super excited to show you what I got a lot of Vibe Beauty Bay stuff because I tried a few of the bronzers and a blusher and honestly it's amazing the eyeshadows are also really really good so I was like do you know what I need to invest a little bit more in the brand and it is super affordable so it's so worth having a look what they've got so I'm going to show you guys what I picked up and show you what I got from another brand as well. So like I said, I'd already fallen in love with a couple of their bronzers and a blusher. So I decided to pick up another blusher. This one is in the shade Coral. I've been really, really enjoying brighter and bolder blushes at the minute. So I've been using quite a lot of eyeshadow just to get kind of the payoff. When I saw this color, I was like, okay, I need to try this out. I think these are about six pounds. So obviously Obviously super affordable for a blusher and I really really like them and do you know what I like that they're so skinny because they fit in my makeup drawers so well the other color that I have that I use pretty much every day and really recommend if you haven't got it it's called peachy I thought I'd show it you now just so that if you're deciding to buy off Beauty Bay and you're unsure what to get then peachy is definitely a really pretty color that will suit so many different skin tones and i've been loving it i've actually i'm very close to hitting pan i don't know if you guys can see that because i use it so much it's great so yeah i can't wait to use coral the next thing i decided to pick up was a few of the lip glosses i have honestly heard so much about their lip glosses everybody says they're such beautiful pigments they are really comfortable on the lips and they do a really nice color range and to be honest when i was looking what colors i wanted there was quite a few that i actually really liked so i just narrowed it down to a couple but one of the shades that i got is called ballet and it's so so nice it's like a really pretty nude and uh, i thought this is just going to be great for every day and also for makeup looks when i'm just going for a nude because that is most days so as you can see there that is ballet and it's just such a pretty nude quite similar to probably what i've got on right now so yeah really really nice and again these were super affordable i think maybe six pound or so but don't quote me on it but yeah really really nice color then i have another lip gloss and this color i got in mocha so i'm gonna pop this at the side of the ballet so you guys can compare i really do like my like chocolatey lipsticks i wanted a, another to add to my collection so i decided to go for this one which is mocha they are really really nice colors so yeah the this one is ballet and then you have mocha next up is one of the glitter eyeshadow bases so if you guys follow me then you'll know that i'm obsessed with the be perfect glitter bases honestly i use them in so many different looks and i absolutely love them but everybody goes on about the beauty bay ones and i thought you know what i really need to try them out like why does everybody go on about them and i saw the romantic collection and i i was so tempted i really was until i seen this color and i thought okay we need to try you you are stunning and i use mermaids which is a peaches and cream pigment all the time and i thought this would go absolutely beautifully with that so this is the color and there it is in all its glory so so pretty so pigmented obviously it has a really nice metallic reflex and i just can't wait to do a look with this because i just think it will be so pretty it's one of those colors that you know a lot of people would probably be afraid of using but if you pair any kind of color like this with like a nice brown well you can actually see right there how nice it goes with a the brown then you can introduce these pops of color to a smoky eye so easily and so beautifully and it just gives you that little bit of something that you don't see every day or that maybe you don't wear every day and yeah so I'm super excited to try this out and I just feel like it's going to become an obsession now and I'm going to end up trying the romantic collection and all the others because they all look so beautiful so again if you guys have been following me for a while or you follow my Instagram you'll know that I really like the by Beauty Bay 
makeup palettes honestly the pigmentation is amazing and you get such a good quality eyeshadow for such an affordable price i've actually bought these as like stocking fillers or for like extra little birthday presents for my friends because i just think they're great value for money and they're such nice presents to receive and, and they do eyeshadows that you're going to wear all the time and every day and all of my friends that i've added them into the Christmas presents and stuff for have absolutely loved them and actually gone on to buy more of them <laughs> because honestly they're so good so i thought i would try out a new one because i have been obsessed with the fiery matte palette for quite a while now and i thought you know what i need to change it up a little bit and use something else that one is quite warm as well so i just thought let's just go for a little bit of a different kind of nude setting so here we are this is the nude matte palette and as you can see, they just have some gorgeous shades, gorgeous colour story. You've got your warmer colours, you've got your cooler colours, you've got your darks, you've got grey in there, you've got your really light neutrals. I just think this is going to be amazing to have in my makeup bag every day if you just want to do something nice and quick. You could do some smoky wing liner with those looks. You can do some really neutral ones. You could do something a little bit more peachy. There's just so much that you can do with these nine shadows. And again, for the price, I just think they're absolutely amazing. So yeah, I would definitely, definitely recommend checking out the Buy Beauty Bay eyeshadow palettes if you haven't tried them yourself, or if you're looking for that extra little wrap up for a friend or family member, then these are definitely a go-to then next i got some brushes from beauty bay so the first two look like this we have a really pointy it's kind of like a pencil brush but it's a little bit chubbier and then we have a flat topped angled brush and uh they're super super fluffy super soft um and I just thought that I would grab these to pop into my makeup brushes and try them out because I haven't actually tried any Beauty Bay brushes before. And I also picked up these two. This is like a little flat brush which I thought would be really good for packing on pigments and stuff if I do maybe a cut crease. And then we have a fluffier, more dense um flat brush so really excited to try and then finally you cannot go wrong with a all over fluffy brush this looks great for obviously buffing your eyeshadows into a crease and yeah i'm super excited for that and i think it would be a really nice highlighter brush too so again i will let you guys know what my thoughts are on these brushes because i've never tried them before but they are super affordable okay so next i thought i would try a brand that i have never tried before and that that is Sample Beauty. I've been seeing a lot of people rave about the brow gel at the minute and then I saw it on my Mitchell's story. He was using it and I was like, okay, sold. I've seen too many people rave about this, so I need to try it. So it is the brow gel and it comes out like a white consistency and it looks like PVA glue, if I'm completely honest which scares me a little bit because we're gonna be putting it in our brows. But like I said, I have heard such amazing reviews and if all of these people are talking about it, then surely it should have something good about it. So I'm super excited to try that out. And again, I'll let you guys know if you guys want me to do like maybe a first impressions with some of these products, then I could definitely do that video for you. And then again from Sample Beauty, I picked up the Raise and Boost Base. It's their full coverage concealer. So I ended up reading the reviews for this and a lot of people said that it's really, really good as a colour corrector. So that kind of reminded me of the Benefit Boing Concealer. I used to use that in a little part years ago, like way back before they rebranded and stuff. So I used to use that uh, number two in the Benefit Boing as a under eye concealer and it would just brighten up my eyes absolutely gorgeously so when I saw this on the website and when I read the reviews I thought you know what for the price that it is I'm gonna try it so god knows what it's like I've never tried it before it's going on quite oily shade looks quite good um, and coverage to be fair because obviously you guys can see my veins there 
And yeah, the coverage seems quite good on first glance. So I'm excited to try that. It feels really creamy, quite oily, um, but it's huge. Like that part is quite a big part. And for shade reference, I ended up going with 04 because 04 seemed to be quite a popular one that people were recommending for the color correcting. So um, yeah, I'm excited to try that. And again, I think this was like maybe four pounds, something like that. And then finally, my last pickup from Beauty Bay, which was again from Sample Beauty. And I have wanted to try this since it got released, but I had at the time, I think I'd just bought the Love Tahiti palette. And I was just like, mm, I have so many shades that are very, very similar. Like it's just not worth me picking up right now. Or it might've been the Mitchell palette. I can't remember. There was a palette that came out around the same time. And I just thought, do you know what? Enjoy the palette that you've just bought first and you can always pick this up in the future. So that is what I've ended up doing. So I'm super excited for the long awaited Sample Beauty Painters palette. And this is by Beth Painter, which is an MUA on Instagram. She's amazing at what she does. So this is what it looks like. I'm obsessed with the packaging and it's got a really, really nice texture to it as well, which I like. There are all of the shades. I'm super excited for these blues. The blues look absolutely gorgeous. Same with the purples, they look really nice. I do have shades that are very similar to these, if I'm completely honest with you guys. When are we ever gonna have too many eyeshadow palettes and too many bright colors? And I hadn't tried Sample Beauty either, so I'm excited to try out their eyeshadows and to see what their pigmentation is like and stuff. So like I said, we could always do a first impressions and create a lovely colorful eye makeup. There's so much choice. So God knows what I'm gonna do with that first because there's just so many. But I'm super, super excited to try it. And they also have a little quote on the mirror, which I thought was really sweet. And it says, art enables us to find ourselves and lose ourselves at the same time, which is just so sweet. So yeah, super excited to try that out. So that is the end of this haul. I really hope you enjoyed seeing what I picked out from Beauty Bay. Let me know what your favorites are from the brand by Beauty Bay. Is there anything else that I need to pick up? Because everything just seems to be so talked about, so raved about and just so good, like the bits that I've tried. So let me know if you have any other favorites down below. Give this video a like if you like seeing my haul so that I know I should do more. Subscribe if you're new here and I will see you guys on my next video. Bye guys!